It is that time of year. It's Tax Tip Tuesday. Today we're focusing on first time home buyers. And uh, Bob Hawkinsmith joins us this morning. He's the expert in this area. Good morning. How Good morning, are Scott. you? Good. And really, some of these things, not just first time home buyers. Right. Yeah, for yeah. people who've had houses for many, right. many years, these are information that would be good for The first thing we want to hit mortgage interest. Mortgage interest. Mortgage interest is deductible up to a million dollars worth of your mortgage. And if you have a home equity line of credit or a second mortgage, you can write the interest off up to $100,000 worth of a second mortgage interest. What about property taxes? Property taxes are deductible, and some people actually prepay their property right, taxes, right. get the extra tax deduction. I got that. Uh, and <clears throat> the other thing we were talking about a moment ago, no matter how, how long you've lived in your home, yeah. if you make improvements, you always want to keep records. Why? You'd be amazed how many people will not keep records for that because they don't think they need to. Right. But you want to be able to write off all the improvements to your home for as long as you've had the home so you can reduce any profit when you sell the home. Okay. And you can not pay taxes on up to $250,000 worth of profit if you're single or 500000 if you're married, but how are you going to know what that profit is if you haven't kept all those records all those years? If you uh, just bought a home, you're a first-time home buyer, what else do you need to take into your account? What you want to remember is this. Every year you get a mortgage statement from your insur or the interest company, the mortgage company, right? Mm -hmm. In addition to that mortgage statement, there's a settlement statement the first year you buy it, and there's some prepaids on there, origination fees, points. Okay. You get to write those off, too, and a lot of people forget those prepays are deductible in the year you buy the house. All right, what about your mortgage insurance premiums? Mortgage insurance premiums is now deductible. It didn't used to be. It is now, and it's a good deduction for you because some people pay as much as $200 a month wow. on mortgage that insurance. That adds up for yes. sure. That's a nice little deduction. It is. Uh, what about, uh, what else? What, what if you have a vacation home or you rent your home out, things like that? Well, we saw with the Super Bowl and so yes. forth, people were renting out their houses, and if you rent your house out for less than 15 days a year, you do not have to report that income. That's tax-free income. But you got to keep those records. That is nice, yeah. yeah. What, what if you uh, are not very good at, at keeping records? <laughs> what you want to do there is, basically, you, you hope that the mortgage company will give the information to you. The mortgage statement is there, the real estate taxes are there. You can actually call them, and they'll give you another mortgage statement. But as far as keeping the records on your improvements, mm -hmm. if you haven't kept those records, you're going to have a hard time. <laughs> Let's see, uh, that. that light right there, yeah. I paid, I think, $50 <laughs> for it. What else for home, homeowners? Well, <clears throat> the Mortgage uh, Debt Relief Act. You know, back in 2008 through 2010, we had a lot of people that were walking away from their homes because they right. couldn't pay for them anymore. Right. And the, uh, the government came up and said, if you walk away from your home and if you basically walk away from your debt, we will let you walk away as long as you borrow the money just to buy the house up to $2 million worth of debt. Well, that act has been extended and extended and extended. Now, even this year, 2015, if people cannot make payments on their home and they have to walk away from their home, they can actually get out of paying that debt, so to speak, if all they did was borrow the money to buy the home. Mm -hmm. So the Mortgage Debt Relief Act has been extended through the end of 2015, and this lets people basically not pay taxes on the debt forgiveness. Are things any different if you have a short sale? Uh, effectively, no. If you have a short sale, it's the same as before. Actually, people had short sales and they made money on their home, which mm -hmm. was really unusual because mm -hmm. a short sale usually means you're going to lose money. Right. But it's the same record keeping and it's the same information as a regular sale in your home. All right, Bob, thank you so much. We appreciate it. It's, it's a lot of information, but it's really it's stuff you really need to know. You need so, to, yeah. Uh, uh, that's a tip for me. Keep better records throughout <laughs> the year. Uh, we'll take a quick break. We've got more Good Morning Air.